Well, the greatest question in 2020 was clearly COVID-19 and the pandemic and the impact on our, obviously our real estate, but in also more importantly, our our society in general and and and, and the planet. And, and uh, so for us uh, at Crombie, we really focused very quickly and very clearly on mobilizing the business, mobilizing our team, and then ultimately stabilizing and then trying to get back to normal as quickly as we, we could. Um, in mobilizing, we really were focused on the health and safety of our customers, our tenants, uh, and our properties. Uh, at the time, as everyone remembers in March, people didn't uh, know the full extent of what COVID could do. And there was clearly that uncertainty led people to be exceptionally protective, including here at Crombie, where we, we really quickly shut down our properties and then implemented various steps to get all of our people home. Uh, and then obviously cleaning protocols at all of our office properties and all of our retail properties. And then importantly, worked with all of our tenants to establish uh, programs to uh, you know deal with their issues, which uh, included a deferral program, the Crombie Value Small Business Program, as well as working through the government programs like Secret, which ultimately worked its way through the system uh, to help our tenants survive and uh, ultimately, hopefully, thrive and get back to business as normal. Uh, and for our staff, it was really about getting everybody home. Within uh, eight days, we had all of our team working from home and working well, uh, and I believe, productively, which is a testament to the resilience and the strength of uh, of our team and uh, and living by the values of the of the company, which is dealing with integrity, uh, dealing authentically with people's issues. Our tenants had a lot of issues, uh, as you know, it's now easily uh, understood. Uh, given that people were restricted in their movement through all of society, and so for us, it was staying focused on that to ultimately. Uh, get our properties back in order, which ultimately happened in June. In addition, for the company, we were clearly focused on our liquidity and the talent we have in our financial, the financial area of our company was uh, ex performed exceptionally well uh, to uh, deliver extra liquidity in March and April, working with great partners in our banks uh, to enable us to have the firepower to withstand, you know, what was a great deal of uncertainty at the time, and 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 ultimately, we it proved to be very successful. And so, we're very pleased with with our team's performance and uh, and the company's ultimate performance uh, through that. And then, lastly, I will say our major tenant, Sobies, which is deemed an essential service, uh, they were our partner, and we worked together very closely with them to in, ensure that they could continue to live, to deliver groceries to Canadians, uh, which was, you know, back in April and March was something that people weren't sure could be done. And Sobeys did an outstanding job and we're very proud of what they, they accomplished during those most difficult of times. Well, this year has been unlike any year that we've ever faced uh, in the real estate world. It, uh, it's not like a cycle. It, uh, it is a one-time event that has jarred all our worlds. Um, it has brought a tremendous amount of uncertainty, uh, fear, and uh, we have to all sort of sit back and take inventory of our lives and uh, how we needed to move forward. And in the business sense, we focused in on our people, our teams, and to ensure that they were safe, that their well-being was being looked after, uh, we spent some time talking with them to find out what that would look like. It became very clear very quickly that work from home was the way to go, and uh, we established the right networks and equipment to create a seamless transition where people could work from home and uh, not lose grasp of all the things they had to do. Uh, it was challenging. Uh, the, the sense of um, collaboration and camaraderie was missing and uh, we organized some social events around that we were around made it sort of the open door policy that we've all always had we made sure that we all talked to each other on an ongoing basis uh, at the onset of covid uh, on a weekly basis, I ensured that I was talking to every team member individually to find out how they were doing, how their work was going, how they generally uh, felt about um, moving forward and if they needed to go home. A lot of our people uh, don't live in Vancouver, our families elsewhere. Uh, these were very, very important things. And then we went on and we said, you know, our portfolio what's going on, how are we going to crystallize our income, how are we going to perform, how bad is it going to get. Um, 
We made sure that we did a deep down drill. We interviewed all our tenants to get an understanding of what they needed and how that would work for us. We spoke to all our lenders. Um, we took on a strategy of de-risking all our assets. And that meant, uh, you know, knowing that the income wouldn't be the same, uh, we would have to have liquidity, we would have to insure. So we went, we went for the work, worst case scenario, um, just to ensure that uh, we could race for any kind of storm. Good day, friend. Uh, it's nice to be with you. I certainly wish this could be a, uh, a panel discussion as opposed to a monologue. The advantage, of course, is that I get to finish my thoughts. Um, 2020 has been uh, extremely challenging for all of us. Um, it, uh, it's really the first time in my career where I haven't had to deal with a business problem or a real estate problem or a building problem uh, where you could put it in a box and forget it when you went home in the evening. Uh, this, this went with you home. And uh, as you as you concerned we were at the office, you were as concerned uh, at home. Um, but like uh, I, I think, like any self-respecting uh, real estate professional, uh, I maintained a certain level of uh, optimism. And by being optimistic, I think that uh, helped us get through some of the challenges. By far and large, by far and large, for us as a company, the challenges were beyond the the buildings or the tenants or the particular deals we were working on, but uh, went to uh, the, the issue of staff. And there were so many uh, different uh, perspectives, uh, people who were very concerned about health, people who were very uh, challenged in terms of their home environments with uh, kids, at, young kids at home, and then those uh, who were isolated and working on small uh, condos and just were dying to get back to the office. And as a result, and typically in a corporate environment, uh, you set uh, a, a single beat to the drum and everyone marches forward to achieve goals. It was much, much more demanding on our executive management team where we had to really uh, cater to each individual, you know, what was important to them, how could they move the ball forward, uh, and sometimes just uh, trading water was, was a success and others were rearing to get going and pushing us to get uh, to do deals in the marketplace. And so, uh, frankly, I'm not going to say if we were uh, successful at that or not. We, we, we absolutely did our best. History will tell. What we, we did manage to do is maintain our company culture, maintain uh, the momentum forward. Uh, and I, I feel uh, fortunate because we're well positioned uh, for the business going forward. The greatest challenge uh, this year has been dealing with a high level of uncertainty. Predictability is really important in real estate. Uh, we always deal with some sort of uncertainty, but in the context of the pandemic, uncertainty was a major factor. We dealt with that factor by trying to predict everything that we could predict while accepting that you couldn't have control over all the other issues, so might as well go with the flow. Uh, in, uh, in order to deal with the challenge uh, on, uh, on day one of the crisis in March, we set up a crisis team composed of a member of our executive and several other key players from inside and outside the company. Uh, so we met every day to remind, remain agile and make the right decision at the right time. Uh, also, from the outset, we developed three scenarios for the years to come. One pessimistic, one realistic, and one optimistic. So this allowed us to be strategic and maintain a short and medium term vision despite of all those uncertainties. We also had access to daily monitoring uh, and real time information from various media, public office holders and ministerial cabinets. So being informed quickly was also very important because it allowed us to make informed decisions to adjust to prepare as much as we could and to, to avoid being taken by surprise by all the new decision or, or the, the news that were coming our way. We always had in mind to keep our whole team well informed. So uh, it, it, was, it was a good thing to get the team mobilized, but also it was important to reassure them on a regular basis and to avoid uh, providing more uncertainty than necessary to them because it was a, a very stressful time at the beginning. So I can also uh, add uh, one more challenge. Uh, I, I would mention that for me and for a lot of my employees who uh, are parents of young children, 
We had to work really long hours while taking care of our children at the same time all day long. At the beginning, when the schools uh, were closed, everyone thought it was really cute and it was really nice to work and have the little one on our lap. But uh, over time, it became clear that this dual uh, responsibility caused much fatigue, both physical and mental, along with stress and anxiety. So uh, we uh, we were and we still are very supportive and flexible to try to diminish the pressure on our employees and to make uh, the life as uh, as uh, as acceptable as possible. So so far, schools and daycares are still open. Uh, and we really hope that it will stay that way. The largest challenge we faced by far was the extreme distortion of reality caused by the pandemic and the shutdown in particular. Real estate is a very physical and human reality, as you know. And when you're separated from both the asset and the men and women who use the asset, on a daily basis, uh, your flow of information is literally cut off and your sense of reality is distorted massively. What we did in an effort to address that was engage in extensive, continuous, and I think effective communication with our major constituents, which in our case were employees, users of the buildings, and of course the investors in our business. And that ongoing communication was helpful to us in explaining the reality to our constituents and also understanding the reality as they were experiencing it or as they perceived it. But by and away, the biggest challenge we faced as a result of this global pandemic was an extreme distortion in reality, which isn't yet over, Uh, but visibility is improving. And I think the Canadian real estate industry did a pretty good job overall of dealing with that distortion and cutting through it.